Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the brand new mod pack called K Factory, available on the Curse Forge launcher. I know what you're thinking, Dav. This isn't a Thought Manager 21 playthrough, or is this some stream highlights you've managed to put together? And you'd be right. Thought I'd venture out and uh, try my hand at a little bit of modded minecraft so without any further explanations right now let's get right into it and i will see you right after the intro yes guys and welcome to episode one of our cave factory play through now, I know what you're thinking, this looks awfully familiar. It's kind of like stone block, one slight difference. You do start with a very generous zombie spawner, as shown. Another a slight difference with this map pack is that you don't need to bother with all the sieving of gravel, sand, dust to help you generate your resources. It's simply done just by mining out a bit of stone on the wall. So you're both expanding out your factory as well as gathering your own resources, which for me seems like a big plus. So let's get started. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I already um, went and completed this because it's just literally an overview of what's happening. In addition, here's to create an underground factory and automate as many things as we can pretty self-explanatory by the name of the mod pack in my opinion so the first thing we need to do apparently is get some pebbles which is done by right clicking on a stone block with an empty hand i mean pretty pretty straightforward if you ask me so uh we're just gonna sit here for a little while i think i'll cut the video until I get a couple of stacks of these pebbles so uh just by the got us six stack of pebbles which I used the four stacks there just to turn into the regular old cobblestone block which will see us complete this first task nice and easy no time really as such wasted pretty straightforward obviously then i uh, made the cobblestone so we uh very generously get given up furnace here which we will put down i guess in this whole section because why, why not, I guess? This can be like our sort of crafting benchy smelting area. Next, we're getting some wood. We get the wood to the cobblestone on the ground and wait around 30 seconds. Around 30 seconds or 30 seconds, game. Let's do it. Let's do it. 32. And now uh, we wait again. Hey. So, yeah, it was roughly around 30 seconds. I wasn't really counting. But our 32 cobblestone has now turned into some lovely, lovely wood logs. I'll see the wood logs do come out to be all different, which could probably going to take up a lot of inventory. So that's probably something we will have to deal with at some point in the future. We get more planks and some sticks. Did they get? Oh. I thought they were yeeted on the floor. What's next game? Oh, starting the Tinker's Construct. Probably one of the most popular mods I would say in modded Minecraft. Any workbench. Simples. Right, you just do this. And then, is it? This for some patterns. And a pattern with a workbench. The other way around, I always get that backwards, get to one old crafting station. Ta da! Easy as you like. Oh, and we get the materials new book, which I don't think I've really actually, like I've actually read. I just sort of got my own instinct and make probably the worst tools imaginable, but there you go. There you have it, the part builder. Where's two planks and two patterns? We have two patterns left, which is ideal. 
flesh. One part builder. Is this enough room? You have like a part builder. And then a stencil table to you and the thing that puts it together, like a tinker's table. I think it's enough room. We shall see. We have a nice wooden handle. And then we need a tinker station. Right, three more blank patterns. Does this give us? It does. Like three and a two, two. Like so. Yeah. So I do need a, a stencil table, right? A bit of stone. Accept them. Oh no. Do you? Do you just need the uh, the patterns and then you can I'm gonna need to make a lot of these patterns, aren't I? Oh. I see. Hmm. Pattern cost two. And then we just sort of Wow, okay. I'm sure before you used to have to put like make the pattern into that and then another table would uh maybe use that pattern into the things. But it looks like they've just merged the two into one now, I believe. I may be wrong. What do we have? The head? We need the binding as well. I think that then completes the small blade. Which is lovely jubbly if you ask me. Uh, what do we put together in here? Pickaxe. With the handle and that and that. We get ourselves a nice stone pickaxe, I guess. Awesome. Combine two parts in the Tinker Station to create a pickaxe. Done. Suggest using the reward to upgrade your pickaxe in the Tinker Station. Okay. You want me to waste a diamond on a crappy stone pickaxe? Is that right? Like, or do I wait until I can get, like, the uh, the main Tinker's build and use it on an iron one? Nah, let's go for it. All we've got to lose, we can always just make another, right? We'll eventually get our resources back, like I said, just by mining out the space. You'll be uh, expanding as well as gaining your own resources that you'll need. I think you drops like your uh, seared bricks and things too. Which is pretty ideal uh, as well. I guess we should also make a a sword. Small blade, two two handles. Do I, do I use wood for the two handles, or do I use stone? Like, can I just? Oh, I ran out of... Yep, of course I did. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Run out of patterns. Always running out of patterns. Two handles. And this should now give us a stone sword? Oh, that's a dagger. I run the, the two. Hey, lovely... Job left. We've done that one. Not we're making pretty good progress here already. We're only a couple of minutes into the recording, and we've done pretty well getting basic resources. Wherever you mine, you have the same chance to get random ores, so you can make some space for your factory and find some diamonds at the same time. So I guess we need to find an ore, and then we'll get a wood to iron chest upgrade, which I guess we found here. I don't know, maybe. But uh, let's get to some little bit of mining. I will cut when I've sort of, I guess, squid everything off. Maybe, you know, raise the roof a little bit. So uh, I'll be right with you guys. Hopefully, this doesn't take me too long. So uh, we just finished. It took me roughly around five ish minutes, I guess, to sort of square all this off but the only thing I haven't done is this little part. I'm a bit weary of uh, accidentally mining into this guy which I'll be, we'll probably kill now right. 
just to get rid of those annoying sounds that I'm sure most of you have been able to hear. At the start of the recording, I did have to turn down my volume because he was quite loud, and I regret spawning him. I regret spawning him very early on. So, yeah, after that little little mining session where we squid everything off, I guess, got a bit more bit more room now to work with for our the start of our factories. Uh, we've collected quite a bit of ore. We have our uh, six gold. 43 iron, uh, over a stack of coal, only one diamond ore though we managed to find in all of that, but that's not meant to be there, uh, not much else, 24 redstone, a little bit of copper, and uranium ore also seems to be quite, quite rare in this case. I also did go and claim this reward for this upgrade because my inventory was getting quite full because of everything that was dropping obviously the cobblestone was but then uh, stay on the ground for too long it ended up turning into wood so we would slowly start to get a couple of wood as well as we was mopping up what was on the floor so next we have andesite no coal before getting crushing wheels we need to place ores and break them again okay i mean my pickaxe durability, durability is looking quite low, 127, but to be fair, during all of that, I didn't need to repair it once, so it has lasted a little while. So we'll just break this coal again. I mean, I would, I guess you could smelt it, like coal or coal, I can't speak, coal or into coal and get it that way, but the game says to just mine it so that is what we'll do we'll get a little bit more while we're at it because no doubt we're going to need to smelt quite a few things soon with all of the resources we've just had to gather like the iron the gold and things like that obviously the redstone and the diamond we can just place back down and do again but i'm pretty confident that not too long we're probably going to find a way to duplicate our ores so I don't I'm quite hesitant with doing that but if needs must I will so we've got our coal no rewards for that one blood magic uh, I think we'll leave maybe next time or the time after that depending on how this this goes now we'll do uh, we'll do the andesite alloy next we need the smooth andesite and some iron nugs so uh, we'll take our iron what is it eight eight ore to every coal eight sixteen twenty four i think what's it i'm sure sure that should be enough oh we i should probably make a second furnace Maybe. And uh, get the andesite going on that furnace as well. Because we're going to need quite a bit of that, I imagine. What do, how much have we got? What does andesite look like? Andesite. Sort of looks like cobblestone. Cobblestone. We'll go with what? 24 that as well, I guess. I don't know how much of this stuff we're gonna need, but I mean we'll we'll keep that in our uh, so there's no more andesite in here. Nope, 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 nope. We're all good. That's all we have. While we're waiting for that, I guess we could look at the road to better tools and get. Oh, well, that requires more smelting. The seared cobblestone into seared stone. So I guess we're not doing that either. We will wait for these to finish smelting. So our smelting is just finished. And 24 iron. We have a 24. I don't know why I smelted 24 iron ingots. I just realised I needed iron nugs, which means I've got way too much. 
probably. So, nonetheless, we have 27 iron nuggets with plenty more ingots to use if we need any more. While waiting for that, I did go ahead, repair the stone pickaxe, and I got rid of the stone axe head that was in my inventory. I made a stone axe with it. So how do we make this andesite alloy? It's just two nuggets and two andesite diagonal. So we do this, 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 and this. Makes us 12 andesite alloys. And we get some engineer skulls. A pair of glasses to augment your vision with useful kinetic information. Shows colored indicators, corresponds to the speed level of the face kinetic component, as well as stress impact. Okay, so it's all part of this create mod. Which, by the way, can I just say, I've never ever had a little dabble in this create mod. It seems very interesting from what I've looked up and read on their wiki, but I've never actually gone and sort of tried it myself. So please, if you see anything wrong, let me know in the comments below and I will fix it ASAP because chances are I will be putting down these machines in a crazy mess. Oops, that's the one book. So after this, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going to uh, smelt some seared cobblestone into some seared stone. Is that you? I mean, I don't know how much of the stuff we need. But, sure. Ta-da! Wait, we should probably split that up. Just so it... Oh, for God's sake. Just so it goes a little bit somewhat quicker, I guess. That'll be that quest when we get there. It gives us 3 to 64 stone. That's a bit of a random amount of stone. Getting power... Oh, here we go. This is what I've been dreading. Setting up these machines, windmill bearings, we need a turntable, which is a sh okay. shaft, very simple, what is it, just one of those and one of those, and we get eight per craft, which is very, very handy. Oh god, we need a smooth hand sight still, a turntable, it's just a slab with a shaft, don't have any wood on me, I should probably move this chest somewhere closer, so that I'm not running around like an absolute dweeb every time I do this. Uh, with all that gives us our turntable. Turntable, shaft. What was the last thing? Oh yeah, we need like a smooth andesite or something, which obviously I don't have anymore because I just turned it all... Wait, that's not going to work, is it? Just turned it all into andesite, andesite alloys. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so we can use probably anything I would imagine. Oh, wait, we have more under site cobblestone. Of course we do. I didn't use it all. Uh, do you think we could just take this out? And just smell like another eight. When this gets done, maybe? Hopefully? So uh, our other site is currently smelting, so we can do do this uh, sort of bearing. But in the meantime, we did get the uh, seared stone, which gives us a random amount of stone. Give us 51, as you can see slightly in the bottom there, which is pretty nice. Obviously, it wants us to use it already to make a bench saw. It's a good job we smelt this iron pretty early on. Bench saw, you can go... Sort of in this corner, I guess. Don't know what I'm using you for yet. Who knows? And oh, and then it gives us a, a grey stained sawmill as well. That's gonna be fun. Oh, I see. It's got a logs on it because this is meant for. We can turn one plank into a door. Spruce supports. Oh, that's pretty handy. No, I didn't know this before. What's next? Main material and creating smelter components. Seed brick. 
Right. So I can use stone cutter. I'll get it eventually. That's the sawmill. We use the stone cutter to do this. And then we get a full stack. Let's see if it works. Uh, you might as well just smelt. Uh, so, yeah, there's our bricks for that one too. Obviously, we can't now go into the seared stuff, which unfortunately means we can't go into the smeltery thing yet and get our iron pickaxe. So, I guess we are now... Oh, we can do this one. Also, if you want flesh on the ground, you'll get random mob, dro mob, mob drops. And we've got this dank one. We do the dank one before we go into the power. Dank, I need more wood. I should probably just like take a bunch of wood with me rather than just take what I need. Uh, I think it was just this with the thing there, and that surrounded by coal. Gives us a dank. Now, the dank one, I believe, works like uh. A backpack. I, I think these spots here may be sort of filters. So when I am mining out the rest of this at some point, my inventory, if I just do like that, my inventory does not get full of cobblestone, which I believe is how it works. I, I'm not 100% sure, but We'll figure it out eventually. And we get a magnet, which is going to be super handy to turn on. And then we'll put it in this slot right down here. I think it's this one. This is going to be handy because this obviously drops us out a lot of flesh. And there's a slight problem that we can't pick it up from here. So the magnet is going to allow us to pick up the rotten flesh. And then also get our other mob drops that the other quest requires. Just like so. So we get two, and if we just put it on the ground, we'll eventually get... Whoop, what a noob. We'll eventually get something random from those two. So, uh... We're gonna make our windmill bearings right now. Like, I just picked... Oh, I got a magnet on. Of course. Ugh. What an idiot. Oh, it's like the biggest face palm moment. I'm like, what? I hope did I pick that up. I wasn't even near it. And I remembered that I was... You can drop anything from using my magnet. So we were making... A... That's the wrong way around, I think. We were making a bearing. I'm site turntable shaft. There, there, and our one smooth anthracite gives us our windmill bearing. Now, I don't know where we're going to put this or how it works once we've made our eight sails, which is just a bunch of sticks. Surrounding an andesite alloy, which we could do. Should we make two? Should we make 16? Because we just have the right amount of sticks. I'm sure it won't hurt, right? Hey, we have gunpowder and a bit of string. Oh, these zombies are spawning quite quickly now. I wonder if the baby zombies spawn in this thing. Can they get through this gap, I wonder? Who knows? I'll turn you off and we'll throw the rest of you on the floor. Uh, so we were making, oh, we made the sails. And we'll claim that wrench. 
Where are we putting this bearing? Like. Huh, here we go. This is going to sound probably the easiest way to get some mechanical power is to create a windmill, place a windmill bearing, and attach sails to the thick side. The power will be outputted on the opposite side. Hover over a windmill bearing item and hold W to see. Okay, okay, I got you. We'll hold W. Windmill bearings attach to the block in front of them. If enough sail like blocks are attached to the block, it can act as a windmill. Activated with the right click, the windmill bearing will start providing power. The amount of sail block determines its rotation speed. Use a wrench to configure its rotation direction. D does it matter which way it rotates? Right click the bearing any time to stop and edit the structure again. Can I rotate this? So you sort of put a log on the front. No, 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 no. I want you to stop. Pause. Okay, I'll just keep clicking you. Put a log on the front of it. Uh, I guess like a trap door? Do I need to like bring you up one or two maybe? Uh, let's do some, some of this. We'll do like this. This. I mean they use a log. Should we just use a spruce plank? Where's my pickaxe gone? And then what? How do I put it? Oh. Hello. I mean, I have 16 of you. Well, this is just a test, by the way. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Does that, like, work? No. Okay, I guess we just... So, oh wait, I don't have the thing anymore to uh I guess we just sort of make it like they made it put a, put a log there and what looks like trap doors on the sides with the bearings like the, the sails on the edges sure I'll uh have a little gander with this and I will cut right back when I am done with it. Let's take this all apart in a minute. So yeah, I'll get this fixed. I'll have a look at what I need to do. I'll be right back. Well, I sort of got something to work. I mean, it is slightly too big that it's glitching through the floor. Which I kind of don't like, so I will just uh, clean that up a little bit on this part. Or this part, yeah. Oh, it does go right the way down, doesn't it? Just don't like the fact that it does go right through the ground. But, hey -oh. We've got ourselves... A little bit of power. Can I now add like top and bottom it? Or do I get blocks on the bottom of you? Will you go underneath? Does this now generate more power, do we think? That was like 512, right? No, it's like this is still 512. Okay, well, that's something for me to test on later at a, another time. Oh, wait, let's just uh, check the new with you. See if we can get that. That's something we will test at a later time. For now, we do have power, which I'm more than happy with because it allows us to go a little bit further and we'll make a gearbox. But for now, guys, we have come to the end of the first recording episode one i think having power is a great part to end on 
next time we'll probably look at making parts more parts to this sort of contraption if you will and eventually looking at it we will we'll get some crushing wheels which then allow us to go down the road of tink construct, construct allowing us to get much better tools so uh, thank you all very much for sticking by appreciate it as always and i will catch you next time bye bye